in the background right now, you've got a song that probably sold well over three and a half million copies. It's a song which was recorded by two very dear friends of mine, Sonny and Cher. And I must tell you people out there watching our scene that it is a delight to have them back with me here at the scene. So come with me and meet Sonny and Cher. Then we, then we say... Hi, Cher. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Sonny. Hello, Jerry. How are you? Okay. I don't know if you heard my introduction. You know, Very nice introduction, Did you like that? Yes. Because it really, honest, it's been a while since we've seen each other. It's been a long time, yeah. It's been since uh, the first show. With the Supremes? With the Supremes. We, had our we first came came down, for the network. Yes. You know, we and came down and worked with them. What have you been... I, I know since then, you know, even though we haven't seen I've been following what you're doing. I know that you have the big motion picture right, right now with uh, Cher. And most people think that, well, Sonny and Cher, the only thing to do is record. Right. Yeah. But that is not so any longer, right? No, same for you, right? We're doing a picture. We did yeah, one. We that's did what one. I understand, that you shot a picture, and I heard you're very good in it. Well, I don't know. actually, I think, I think the man that we have to thank for that is a friend of yours, too, Mr. H.G. Peters. Yeah. We did yeah, the, yeah. the picture right here. And I understand you're going to be doing a picture here, too, right? That's what I came down here for, to look at this marvelous complex that we're in right now. And the facilities here actually are better for the kind of picture that I want to make than the facilities in Hollywood. Because Hollywood, well, you've been there, and you mm. know how, how traditional conscious they are. It's the budget, are. right? I yeah. guess, that, as they say, would, which would kill you well, in the, Hollywood? The, 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 right. the tradition, the way they shoot as well. I mean, the, there's a certain tradition that they follow. You know, you do this because. Because why? Because that's the way you do it. And uh, How did you get into the movie thing? You know, I'm... And most people, I don't know if you realize this, but most of the Sonny and Cher uh, songs that were out were produced by Sonny. And I guess uh, before you really went into it, you were producing songs for other people too, right? Yeah, unsuccessfully. The only <laughs> successful song I, I had before Sonny and Cher was Needles and Pins. That I wrote. Was that the English group that did it? Yes, the Searchers did it right. and Jackie DeShannon did it here. And it was a very successful record. But up until I met her... There was something missing, and it, 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 it sounds corny to say that, but it's true. There was an element missing, and then when we got together, I guess she was the element, you know. The inspiration. Yeah, but primarily, I've always wanted to produce. I I just sang because she was a she was frightened of singing by herself, so I always geared our songs so that I had very little to do in them that I didn't. Myself. Someone said, is it true that you produced your own picture, that you had to go out and raise the money, that the script that you had for Chastity, mm -hmm. that uh, not too many people well, believed he, in it? He wrote it, and um, it was our money. We used our own money. We, we, uh, we just begged, borrowed, and stole, and what we had accumulated, and we put it back into the picture. And uh, you said, why? I think you know, Jerry, uh, what happened in music seven, eight years ago, there was a, a revolution or an explosion where the kids, the young people, started making the product mm. rather than... The independent producers. Yeah, rather say. than the a The A&R Deckers, man, the RCAs the with capital, the big money. Yes. Yeah. And this has to happen in the motion picture industry now, in the next media. I think the young people uh, have to do it. And I think the significant thing that's happening now is you've made a picture... Uh, Peter Fonda has made a picture. Easy Rider. Easy Rider. We've got a picture out. Another friend of ours, Frank Perry, who's had, who sure, made Sure, last David, summer, right. David, right. David and Lisa summer. and last summer. And all of us have had a lot of trouble getting into this next media. So consequently, you had to put up your own money to prove your own point. In, other words, in this particular saying, yeah. case, because you're subjugated to... Uh, Restriction is if you don't, uh, you have to uh, you have to be prepared to take a gamble if you want to do something your way. You know, that's tough. You know, they were talking about Paul Newman, and Paul Newman had been under contract with Warner Brothers for years and years and years. He comes up with a picture called Rachel, Rachel. Right now, you would imagine a big name like Paul Newman, one of the major studios, would, take would say it immediately. like, right, that yes. we produce it. He just like you had to go out and put his own money into yeah, it. Yeah, I was very he aware also, of I mean, that. his wife is an Academy Award right. winner, and also, I mean, that that kind of it's uh, not shakes just, you up. Uh, uh, Bullet was made under Steve duress. Steve McQueen, right? Right. right. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde was, people don't know this, but Bonnie and Clyde was produced by Warren Beatty. They know that. But it was, it, that picture was released in what we call a multiple release. I don't know if you know what that means. That an mean, area release? No. 
That means the picture goes out everywhere in one week, everywhere in the country. And then and, they took it back and, and then, put it on the can. And then it plays know. in the drive-ins, and whatever money it makes, that's it. Now, it was, their, it was their token thing to mm. Warren Beatty. Now, I didn't know no, that. No, I know. a lot. Of, now, that picture was released, and it was over. Next case, as far as Warner Brothers was concerned. How did they get it out again? Well, demand from the people. The public started wow. calling and saying, uh, you had a picture, are you going to run it again? Well, they got enough calls to where Warner Brothers said... Let's throw that picture in a theater and see what it's going to do. Do you know something? Isn't that, though, you know, you're from the record business. Right. Isn't that just like the record business? It parallels. Right? It you get a hit, a regional hit, let's say, exactly. in Philadelphia or New York City, and the record company will not spend X amount of dollars, right? Exactly. Unless they get a reaction, a let's reaction. say, in Baltimore. Yes, a reaction. So, so that's always the, the uh, what do you call it, the bogus that you're stuck with in, in the... Uh, entertainment business is is the the administrators want a reaction if there is not a reaction fast they, zip it. they go to the next thing also the the uh, well like the the record business the people in the motion picture business are very old and they don't like young Was people antiquated yes yes. Ah. <laughs> yes and they don't like young people's you know ideas and it's when Sonny had this conception they said well it's nice but it's a fairy tale because you can't make it for that much money you know it would cost millions of dollars and you know I think they have to, I think they have to start to get with it though you yeah know. I think they are I think I they think what they don't realize know is blowing is, it is like you and does they don't realize that we change they go with the and label the that change. we had that right. the kids change right you know like you probably got labeled years ago stereotype the gear yes. with the heater the boss with the hot sauce we got labeled and 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 we're stuck with that thing and then eventually as you grow you want to break that stigma that you're followed with because Sonny and Cher are two bobcat vests with long mm -hmm. hair you know mm -hmm. and 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 nothing else. Two lucky people. I must tell you something, though, and I, you please forgive me. I have not seen the picture, but I understand it is magnificent, and I think that this is the change. I think that's the one Knock thing on that is needed to make the transition. Was it tough, though, sure, for you? This is your first thing, right? Right. I, I, I don't want it to sound conceited, but it was easy. I mean, it just, it just kind of. Were you being yourself? In. Yes. Kind of, yeah. I was. Wow, that's was so beautiful. Kind of How was it for you? Well, I'll tell you something. It was difficult for me uh -huh. because I, in the picture that we did, Psycat, I played the part of a young fellow by the name of Richard Cahill. And as you mentioned a little while ago, you know, you're typecast. You know, the Gita right. represents rock and roll. roll right. Here I play a young guy who falls in love with a married woman uh -huh. who has to be very sensitive because she is a married woman. And you know you're doing wrong. And at the end of the picture, like, I go through the changes. So there is a moral also to this thing that, you know, if you're going to hang out with fire, you're going to get burnt, you know, but that's in the script. But with you, it must have been a delight. I mm. understand you did just magnificent in it. And I must say, I see where I'm guilty of things because when, when people, I, I was very curious when they said that you were in a picture and you took on this tremendous role because I had labeled you, which is interesting. You know, I'm, I'm as guilty as everybody else. And they said, no, he's really good. And I said, well, good, you know. <laughs> and, 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 uh, I know now what people how how easily that label can come into into a situation. It's so tough. It really is, and I don't think the average public really realizes that. They say there's a big successful, let's say in your instance, right? Right. Sunny and sure. But most people must realize that if creative people are creative people, that they have to constantly grow and grow and grow, and it's not right. easy. Right. You have it's to grow and you have to keep moving. You know, we haven't produced any stars, though. I mean, real lasting stars. Out of the younger stars, set, you're right. saying, you know, like the old Bogarts, yeah. the old no, Cagneys, and all any. of those people. We're, we're, we went through a period where we just didn't, we didn't uh, we're, we're produce on, anything, so they just kind of discounted us. We're on the uh, Mike Douglas show as as well in Philadelphia, so we're here for two reasons: to look over this complex as, uh, for movie making facilities. And also the co-host on the uh, Mike Douglas show. And today Mike said, you know, I'm, I'm really glad you guys c came on. We're, re we're really having fun. But he said, I must admit that when they said, get Sonny and Cher for co-hosts, he said, Same I said thing. yes. Right. With a lot of trepidations, he said, I said yes because of the name value. But he was very worried about it until we... And every day when he introduces, he says... I just can't tell you. He says, these people are really nice. No, yeah. You know, like, he, he just well, can't believe why it. Why is that? Now, th that's another thing here. Why is it? You know, I can understand maybe the public, but uh, I'll tell you what. 
um, before I get into this, would you do me a favor for your fans around there? Would sure. you sing a song? Sure. Yeah. Huh? We'll sing the one that started it all, okay? I got you, babe. Yeah. Yeah. You, you've got Cher. Yes. Okay, folks, Sonny and Cher. Find out until we're old. Well, I don't know if all that's true, cause you got me, and baby, I got you. Babe, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. They say our love won't pay the rent. Before it's earned, our money's all been spent I guess that's so, we don't have a pot But at least I'm sure of all the things we got Babe I got you, babe I got you, babe I got flowers in the spring, I got Cher to wear my ring. And when I'm sad, you're a clown. And if I get scared, you're always around. So let them say your hair's too long. I don't care with you, I care. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got you to walk with me. I got you to talk with me. I got her to kiss the night. I got you to hold me tight. I got you to hold my hand. I got you to understand I got you and I won't let go I got you to love me so I got you, babe Thank you. Sounds no. like laughing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I haven't heard you sing in such a long time live. But you do it so great. You Thanks. really do. We have a lot of practice. We haven't done you st it. You're still into the singing bag, though, now that you're in the movies? We're, we're working uh, Vegas, supper clubs. Nightclubs. It's a Night different clubs. thing altogether. You know what? Uh, going back to what we were talking about before, a few of us, like, like the Supremes, Glenn Campbell, Dion. I think, Dion, mm -hmm. us, Tom have Jones. gone into another level Bag. of entertainment. Bag, uh, uh, yes. We're kind of like football. We're trying to appeal to everybody. Hey, that's tough, though. That's not yeah, easy is. because this show is trying to appeal to everybody. You know, we talk to young people about their hang-ups and their problems, but then we then go into the rock thing, and then we go into the adult type of thing. That's not an easy thing to do. No, not now, because I think right now, for some reason, uh, everybody is putting an age bracket on everything you do. That's so bad. It's so That's bad. That's so bad, because yeah. I maintain somebody 40 years old, if rock and roll is in good taste, can enjoy it just as a kid can. And uh, Well, today we're working with Margaret Whiting. Is that right. It? And she did what the world needs now is love, and she did it groovy. Hey, she listen, did not well. to interrupt, because we're running out of time. Would you do me a favor? You're going to be doing a picture here, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Would you stop back and we'll sit and rap again? Be a pleasure. Love okay. to. Okay, Thank you. I have to leave. Okay. See you in a while. Nice seeing Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.